Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to live stream completely standalone. If you find this helpful, all I ask is for you to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'm going to stop this intro and I'm going to go get into the tutorial. So, first thing first, go to stream yet, <laughs> stream yeah, <laughs> streamyard.com. This is where you want to go to. You will sign in with your account, and then once you sign in, everything it will pop up this. Now, all you want to do from here, click live stream, and then add a destination. You don't have to. You can do Twitch, YouTube, something. If you want to stream on YouTube, do your YouTube channel. I haven't tested out Twitch or anything else, but put a YouTube channel, log in with your Google account connected to your YouTube channel, and after that, it will appear right here. You can click it. And then you got add tile is required, so I can do like I don't know this. And you could add a description. This is optional; it's not required. But yeah, here you can put privacy, public, unlisted, private. I'm gonna do unlisted for this one. And all I gotta do is create live stream. That's it. Also, you can schedule for later, but I never do that. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's give you some tips by loading and entering the studio. You just gotta wait, and boom, you hear. You see how it's picking up my mic? That's what we want. It would probably ask to allow your mic. You want this to pick up your mic because this is a way better way of capturing your mic. But I am going to mention some things later on why this isn't as good. Standalone, at least. But yeah. So, edit avatar. You can change your avatar settings if you want to put certain settings. If you want to do. Oh, portrait name. If you want to do a short video, you gotta switch to portrait. That is required. Yeah, that's it. Put a display name. Make sure that's picking up your audio and then enter studio. And now we're here. This is a studio and yeah. You won't have all of this, but you can add it by like doing stupid shit. Yeah. But to stream, which is the most important part, all you gotta do is go to present go to share screen. Share screen. It will pop up this. It will ask you to allow this app to capture the display. You will click allow. And boom. I can, I'm, it's capturing my gameplay. Now, I'm going to take a picture when I'm not recording. And put it like here. It might be up already. But this, to show my gameplay, it doesn't right now because I'm recording. And it doesn't like when you record and live stream. So it's not capturing right now. But if I wasn't recording, it would be capturing perfectly fine. But yeah, once you're here, all you gotta do to show your screen is first, if you want to if you want to talk to your audience, first thing I recommend putting on is this one. You add this to stage, and yeah, right here, boom, it's at the stage. They will hear me, my audience will hear me talk, blah blah. blah. And then here, you will add this to stage, and that would be your gameplay. Now, one thing I recommend doing is coming here. You can paint this one. You could do this one. It's optional, but I recommend doing this one since this is only capturing that. This is still on stage, so they can still hear me. But this is making it so your whole screen is just gameplay, so you don't have a little icon anywhere, which in my opinion is good. But yeah, and then once you have that, this will be showing. I'm gonna put another picture here, kind of like show it. Yeah. All you gotta do afterwards is click go live, and then click that button again. And boom, you live streaming. And that's all you gotta do. There's also banners like the one I have on the bottom all the time. Scrolling. You can have this one starting soon. Then media access. You can't do this unless you have the uh, premium. You can't do this either unless you have premium. That's premium. You can have videos, which is pretty cool. And this is what I recommend if you have like a rating. You can use this as a background. Pretty nice. And then they have song and you can upload your own songs. Or I use good kids songs since they don't copyright claim. But I still give them you still gotta give them credit in the description at least. But yeah, you can upload songs to like play. Yeah. Style, the color you want, I do purple, default camera, you can make a well, you can make a square, you can make that. Yeah. Basically that's it. And then if you have someone in the studio with you, because fun fact, you can have two people in here. So like if you want to stream and you want to talk to a friend at the same time, they can join the studio. And then you can do this one. So it's two icons and then your gameplay, which I think is pretty cool. But yeah. 
this is how it works, and that's it. Hope this is helpful, and I'll see you guys next time.